previously I showed you how to rank on Google using SEO and free traffic. We went on to detail on how to find new and emerging keywords, how to write articles on those keywords, how to SEO your articles, how to lay them for SEO using H1, H2 and H3 tags. So today I'm going to show you how to do backlinking. This is also another very important factor when it comes to SEO, when it comes to ranking your articles, ranking your website on the first, second or third pages of Google. Now backlinking is something that usually comes natural. You don't actually have to do it. Personally, I don't do any backlinking, at least any active backlinking. But if you have to rank on Google early, if you want to rank very fast on the first pages of Google, you can actually do backlinking. So what are backlinks and how do they work? Well, a backlink is when one website links to another with an anchor text. And I'm sure you've come across this before when you open a website, sometimes you see a link linking to another article or linking to another website. That is pretty much what backlinking is. So the way this works and why it's important is so that Google will be able to verify your website, will be able to verify your content. It also makes it trustworthy, especially if you link to high authority websites. If you have multiple links from other websites linking to your article or to your website, this tends to increase authority to your website, making it trustworthy for Google to be able to rank your website. Now, there are mainly three different types of backlinking, okay? So the first one is editorial backlinks. Now, this is when a journalist or a publisher or another blogger actually creates a link back to your website, okay? So this tends to happen a lot, especially for new bloggers, but only if you're providing valuable information, okay? These are normally journalists who are actually not really big journalists, just people who are actually just new, kind of like starting out, they're just like you. And this has happened to me on both of my websites, and it's one of the most natural ways that you can actually get backlinks okay these are people who normally go through lots of websites because this is their job they try to uh, they try to write articles on different niches stories and this is how they can come across your website now a tool that you can use to find the number of websites that have linked to your article or to your website is uber suggest okay this is by neil patel so neilpatel.com slash uber suggest so if you come over here and just enter your domain over here for example netflix.com as you can see here, you will see backlinks. These are basically number of articles that have linked to Netflix. Okay, 81 over 81 million. And if you click on this and scroll down here, you will see the different articles, the different websites. All these are the websites. Okay, all of them have been listed here. So you'll also be able to see the websites that have linked to your website. And this is one tool that you can see the number of websites that have linked to your website. All right. The second type of backlinking is the relationship based backlinks okay now this is almost similar to the editorial backlinking but this one is actually when you personally reach out to an editor okay you reach out to a journalist this can be mainly um, a known journalist or a journalist with a high domain authority website just reaching out to them letting them know that you are that you exist that you write about this type of content you're in this niche and you have this kind of article that you would like them to link to. So you're basically just creating a relationship between this high authority uh, journalist or editor. All right. Personally, I've never used this type of uh, backlinking, but it's just one of the ways that you can actually do backlinking by creating a relationship with this website owner and reaching out to them, letting them know that you have this website, you're the owner of this website, and you write about this type of articles, you're in this niche, and all that. Okay. So you're kind of like creating a Basically, uh, you're creating a relationship between them. And that is just one of the ways that you can create a relationship type of based backlink. All right. Now, the third type of backlinking is known as guest blogging, okay, or guest outreach. Now, this is also just similar to the relationship, but for this one, it's not really targeted to an editor or to a journalist. This one is actually reaching out to people who are in your niche, okay, usually high authority domain websites but they are in your niche. This is one of the most powerful ways that you can do backlinking and this is what Google loves because if you actually get these websites to write an article or to have a link in the website that's linking to your website, it shows the algorithm, the Google algorithm that your website is trustworthy. Since these websites have links to your website or to your article, thus Google now ranks your website on their first pages. So the different ways that you can do guest blogging or guest outreach 
you can actually just send emails okay it's just basically sending emails to these websites to these website owners asking them if you can write an article for them in exchange for a backlink okay now again to be honest i have never done guest blogging because i want to do mine naturally i don't really want to actually have to reach out for guest blogging but again if you want to have your websites ranking early enough or very soon this is one way that you can get your websites ranking on the first pages of google all right now i have drafted some email pitching here for guest posts now the first one that you have is this one here this is just a simple email that you can write for a guest post so hey john so of course this is the owner of the website or maybe the marketing department so you go on and say i'm getting 10,000 visits per month to this one page and i have your product on the list okay now it doesn't have to be 10,000 visits you can reduce this number okay maybe you can say maybe i'm getting a thousand visits per month on this one page now but then again they don't really go ahead checking for the number of visits so you can actually just fake this then you go on and say i'm currently doing ten thousand dollars per month in affiliate sales with my link okay again this number doesn't have to be true maybe you can reduce it but then again they don't really check on this it's just different ways that you can reach because these people they tend to get lots of emails so if you show them these kind of numbers this is actually very eye-catching okay so you go on and say would you like to be moved to the top of the list for a monthly fee now this line here to be moved on top of the list okay only applies if you're doing this kind of strategy okay this type of um, strategy where you have these blocks okay these three blocks we have the first one so the first one being number one you have the second one and you have the third one okay so you can have them appear on the first one or on the second one on the third one depending on where they want it also applies here so you can have like for example you have big spy here again you can have them here number one so they appear on the first list okay we have the second one which is powered spy and then you have the third one at black city so this only applies if you're doing that kind of strategy okay moving them on the top of the list all right now the second way that you can do email pitching for guest post is this one here so this one goes again saying hey john i was doing some research and found some topic pieces that you could easily produce and pull traffic for okay in fact this person.com so this is a website ranks for this and they have a fraction of your authority which is domain rating dr is domain rating 76 versus domain rating 93 and then this is the article itself so 10 best software services again these are just examples then it goes on to say i'd like to write this for you free of cost in the form of a guest post all right so i've done this before on robertokello.com again you'll put uh, a different website that you've written an article for or it doesn't have to be another website it can just be your website they have done it here and then who's now ranked number three for their topic okay if this sounds good please let me know and i'll start today so for this one here you're actually reaching out telling them that you would like to write for them an article and this would be the title of the article which will help them pull more traffic for that article okay so you're also kind of like helping them in a way because you want them to get more traffic for this article which you're going to write and of course you're going to include your links okay your anchor text in this link so this is just another strategy another way that you can pitch for an email for a guest post which you can use an article to link back to your article or to your website okay now another one is this one here okay so um hey john i'll cut to the chase you have this article on your site written in 2020 that used to perform well in google okay so this line is actually telling them that you've actually gone through their website or maybe you're a follower of their content and that they wrote this article back in 2020 that used to perform well so you're a close you're a close uh, follower of this website okay and then down here it goes on to say it seems that your content has aged a lot um, aged and a lot of the facts you referenced have become outdated i've just completed a round of research on this topic and would like to write it for you i've done this before for my robertokello.com with best software okay i'm available upon your reply so this one is just a quick one you're basically cutting to the chase and telling them that you have this article uh, that they have this article on their site that was written back in 2020 that used to perform well this is showing that you're basically a close follower of their website all right and then you have this one here so again just a different way that you can reach out for them reach out to this uh website owner asking for an article or asking for 
a backlink using an article. All right. Another one is this one here. So I am the content editor for robertokello.com and long time reader of HubSpot ever since 2014 when you guys were just starting to become a force online. I was doing some research and found some topic pieces that you could easily produce and pull traffic for. Okay. So in fact, Troy Point ranks for them and they have a small fraction of your authority. Okay. So these are the articles, 28 best AI writers in 2023, 14 writing tips and tricks, three best image generating AI. Okay. So I would like to write one of these for you free of cost, just trying to get more publication. I've actually done this before on robertokello.com who is now ranked number three for their topic. Okay. If this sounds good, please choose which topic you'd like and I'll start this evening. Okay. So again, you're listing out the websites that you're here. You're giving them different options of very catchy uh, websites in their niche that they would like to rank for that will also drive traffic to their website and then again you're also writing an article to include anchor text linking to your website all right so these are just some of the examples that you can use for guest posting guest post outreach in exchange for backlinks again don't have to do this because most of these articles or most of these websites, they normally get lots and lots of emails. I also get lots of emails for email pitching. Some of them I reply, some of them I write articles on, some of them I just ignore. So you have to be really strategic with this. This is why I don't really um, do guest posting or email outreach for guest posts because it's actually a lot of work. If you think about it, you're writing emails, these types of emails to different websites in a day. But then again, if you have the time, and you really want to rank on the first pages, you can go ahead and do this. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope this was a valuable one. Check out my previous video on how to rank on Google using free traffic by clicking on this video right here.